Hey Scorpio, Jackie Tomlin here. This is your general reading for the week of March 6, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget these are general readings. Take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. Uh, and if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Want to throw out there a Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you. Okay. Uh, stop beating yourself up. There's been a lesson that well learned. So stop beating yourself up about it. It is time for good luck and abundance. Uh, it's kind of like the calm before the storm. So get the rest that you need before moving forward. Someone close to you is coming in as an unexpected unexpe offer of assistance. This is kind of like the week of getting what you want, but it's not coming in the form that you're expecting. Uh, and some of you, there could be a large lease in or a purchase or some kind of signing of a legal document so let's jump in and see this is scorpio this is your week of march 6 2023 first card up we have the nine of cups coming in with total wish fulfillment total wish fulfillment happiness contentment everything going your way we do have the eight of swords here no self-sabotage this week okay this is what i call the card of self-imposed restrictions this is no one holding yourself back but you at this point in time let that energy go okay we've got the ace of pentacles coming in and that ace of pentacles talking about there is new money coming in for some of you the signing of a legal document might be a loan could be a refi anything like that Okay, but they were definitely looking at a new beginning in your financial sector. We also have that wheel of fortune, that good luck and abundance. This is indicating that the wheel is finally turning in your favor. This is good luck and abundance for you guys. This is also the card of partnership. Now, it's a general reading. That could be partnership in love and it could be partnership in business. So you take it as it resonates for you. The center of your reading, you guys have the Four of Pentacles. So that Four of Pentacles says, you know, this is um, um, this is everything, okay? But it's keeping some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, and opinions, I want you to keep to yourself. There seems to me that there's someone there that's willing to steal those ideas. So don't disclose everything right now. We also have the high priestess coming into play. It says you're grounded, you're centered, you're very intuitive. The problem I'm finding here is you're having problems trusting your own intuition. Hello, Harry. We have the queen of pentacles. Could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. You are financially stable. You are uh, about yourself. You are... <sighs> Grounded and centered. I like what I'm seeing here. I like the energy of this. Some of you are treating yourself to makeovers. So yeah, this is a pretty big deal. We also have the lovers here. Some intensity and the love life that applies to my singles as well as to my couples. And there is a warning of three as a crowd. Okay. Third person, I want to advice and or opinions. So, I mean, if you are single and you're out there and... You know, well, they say single and ready to mingle. Let's make sure you're not getting yourself involved in a third party situation. Yeah, definitely. Back to back, third party. Definitely trying to tell you something. The clearing of the phone going off over here, too. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay. The Knight of Wands is talking about movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out, some type of movement. Some of you are very excited about this. Maybe you're merging households. Some of you looking at a residential move. And some of you are just really excited about some renovations that are coming up. Okay. Uh, moving forward. There is a Scorpio energy that you may be dealing with. A Scorpio on a Scorpio indicating, I'll be honest with you, total stubbornness. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Total stubbornness. It is asking you to open your heart to give love and open your heart to receive love. On that good luck and abundance is because you're under this healing energy. You've kind of, what do they call it? Um, the dark night that you've been through. You've been through it and back. This is um, healing from that. You're healing from someone that's done you wrong emotionally. Some of you, it's a physical healing. The majority of you, I'm going to say it's emotionally. 
And we have the Nine of Wands, the Bajiggity card. Feeling like a cat on a hot tin roof. I'm going to go back and tell you, don't self-sabotage. Don't second-guess yourself. Trust your intuition and continue to move forward. It does show that you're very scattered. Um, like I said, for some of you, there's been a lesson well learned. Don't beat yourself up over this. You're anxious, you're excited, and you're overwhelmed all at one time. On that high priestess, comes in with the hermit. Just what I said. You're feeling scattered. You're not going to believe me. You don't feel that you're on the right path. But everything here indicates you are absolutely on the right path. This is your good luck. You are on the right path. And on that Queen of Pentacles brings in the Eight of Pentacles. This is money in addition to. Some of you guys are starting a side hustle. Um, some of you've got second paycheck some something i want to say side hustle something is coming in this is money in addition to your regular paycheck i really don't feel that this is a tax return i feel this is something that you have earned okay and on that lover's card we have the page of cups you have an unexpected offer of love coming in. Uh, let me say this. It might not meet your expectations at first. I'm going to tell you to open your heart and give this a try. I think you might be surprised. And on that three of swords, that first three of swords, you've got the nine of pentacles. Financial independence. Okay. You're financially stable. Let's make sure that someone is not viewing you for your finances, to be quite honest with you. And the center of the reading bonus, we have the Seven of Cups. You've got options. You've got options in love. You've got options in, in money. You've got options in a lot of different areas. On that note, Scorpio, I am extending your reading this week. So you may join me for the extended. And if we part here, that's fine too. You guys have a fantastic week. And it's JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. If you're interested in the extended, you will find the link in the description box below. Or my YouTube channel's homepage has a join button there. So, and if you're following me around, I'll be back momentarily with Sagittarius. Bye.